Hi, Julie here. I'm going to show you um, our second tag video. Um, this is just a cute little bunny that I used. Um, this small stamps um, hot off the press bunny. Um, I stamped it in VersaFine Black Onyx. Excuse me. I used the VersaFine there for that um, because it's good for watercoloring. And I watercolored um, my bunny used little stickles on its ear. And we'll just kind of show how we did that. Um, so I stamped it again with that VersaFine. And I thought I would use um, my Inktense pencils. Um, in my, I have a little container here of my Inktense pencils. Um, they're not exactly a watercolor pencil. They're a watercolor ink pencil. Um, the colors are way more vibrant than a typical watercolor. Um, my only thing that I had with them um, is that it was difficult to know the color based on the color of the pencil on the back. Um, for instance, this one uh, says it's fuchsia and you can see how it looks pretty dark. Uh, that's what fuchsia ends up looking like when it is um, blended with water. So I wanted to have this little chart so I knew what the colors actually looked like when they were um, with water. Okay, so back to the tag here. I am using willow and tan. Willow is going to be the darker um, brown. And I'm going to start by coloring in with decent amount of pressure on the spots that I think would be a little darker. Okay, I'm going to do it dark here, a little bit of darkness there, a little dark there. Okay. I'm going to take my water water pen here. Make sure it's cleaned off. Ooh, this is pretty wet. Um, I am using watercolor paper so make sure that you do use watercolor paper especially if you've got a lot of water coming out like I do here. Okay, that is really wet. Okay, I'm going to do a space. Oh, that is super wet. Oh, let's see, we're going to need, I'm going to kind of pat that one dry a little, super wet, okay, what I'm going to do is hands, Okay, just kind of tap, okay, let's use the tan in the middle, alright, do this one here. And it's just super wet. Okay. And now I'm just going to go back in um, with the willow and just add some more direct color. What I can do is just get my pencil wet there. Oh. Okay, kind of like the way that looks. We'll do a little more on the bottom. Okay, um, but I got a little splatter on there. And we'll just do a color in the background. Let's see what would be a nice blue. 
Or even, let's try the Sienna Gold. That might be pretty behind the bunny. Okay, so in order to just color the back of this tag, I'm just going to do similar to like what I did with the gelatos. I'm just going to get it wet. Go around. Watercoloring with these, it's just kind of fun. Kind of fun to play with. And watercoloring is nice because you know it doesn't even have to be it doesn't even have to be perfect. That's what's good about it. Because I'm far from perfect at it. But I kind of like the background filled in a bit. Makes it kind of like a monochromatic a little bit. Maybe we want to add a little purple in there. Let's see. Hmm, deep rose, if I could find it, would be kind of pretty. What is this one? Red violet. What does red violet look like? Let's see. Oh, red violet would be pretty. Let's do that one. about half the tag maybe with that and then just kind of blend that so it's a little less stark there okay and then we've used our ink tense pencils to make a tag all you need is to let that dry add some ribbon and then you'd be good to go one idea also to do um, with this one we did some stickles on the ear. So I've got cotton candy. And I'm just going to put some on his ear. Really lightly. And then when it dries, it'll have a nice little pinkishness there. Okay. So, that is our tag using the Inktense pencils. Thanks for watching.